Hey there, this is Offshore Weekends. I'm going to show you a little uh, system that I put together with PVC pipe, kind of a poor man's back support. And I wanted to show you what what I did. Not that this is the, the best way to do it, but that there's other uh, systems that you could put together in a similar way. That, But this seems to work really well. So what I did was I left this white, what I had built for the back support, so you could see it better. And the way this is designed is this, I have a, a, a padding that I'm going to put here in just a second to show you. But basically, you're, when you lean back, you've got something solid to lean against. So you've got that support to your back. You could, instead of having connecting it to the fishing rod holders that I did here, I could have actually come straight back with most people with their roll bars, they could have come straight back and connected right here and achieved the same effect. My original plan is to take this Type 4 personal flotation device, it's called a Jim Buoy, and you get these at Academy, they're about $30. My original plan was to take and hook it up just like this, and it sits up high so that when you're sitting you got a lumbar support right here and it goes up high enough that it's giving you support for your shoulders so as you sit back you've got the support right as you lean oh, there we go i haven't glued this together yet that's coming but what happens is as you lean back you've got this kind of um, support that's contoured to your back. The other thing that I've done that I, that I like that makes it more comfortable is the use of this pad you can get at Gander Mountain. This is just a hunting pad for uh, people that are just out deer hunting or whatever. And it's water impermeable and the thickness is just right so that when you stick it down in here, it's, um, it's much more comfortable than the seat that you're sitting on. And you don't sit up too high, so you're still down low in the seat, and yet you get that comfort. It comes out just far enough to be comfortable against this lip right here, plastic, but yet it allows you still to open up your hatch without any problem. The other thing that I think makes sense too is you could get away without buying the gym buoy padding and instead just get yourself some um, of the uh, tubing that they use for you know the kids use for play I forget what it's called the um, oh gosh the rubber tubing that you get the, the to, uh, pool noodle is what I want to say the pool noodle you could go ahead and cut and you could just lay over this and you could get your padding right here. So you wouldn't even need a seat padding, you could just leave it like that. And as you lean back, you find yourself leaning against the pool noodle and getting your support that way, which is something I may consider just trying. I may find it that I like it even better than the um, Jim Bowie padding. But anyway, I wanted to share that today. I, at this point, I have these latched too, just because I haven't glued it, and the uh, which I'll do eventually in time. But I'm just trying it out now today. Today will be the first time I've had it out in the water, and we'll check and see just how comfortable it is. <laughs>